Yo, this is Jay from Straight Smoke Gaming. In today's video, we're going to talk about how the snow is in the game, as you can see. So that is nice. We do have our Christmas update for GTA 5 online. You know, the snow is nice. We were expecting this. We finally got it. But, you know, when you do have the snow, there are going to be things that are not fun. I mean, we made a video like this in Red Dead for stuff you're going to want to avoid. So basically, in this video, we're going to give you three things to avoid in GTA 5 online. Like I was saying in the Red Dead video, if you do not watch, that will be linked in the description. The stuff in GTA is more noticeable, so if you do play both games and you're wondering why it is not as noticeable in Red Dead as it is in GTA, it's just because of how the games work. I mean, one, you're on horse, one, you're, on, you're using cars, so I mean, that's a big thing. Starting off with the first thing you're going to want to avoid here is vehicle cargo. And the reason we're saying that is because if you know anything about vehicle cargo... If you don't, I'll explain it to you real quick. It's literally all driving. I mean, you drive the car back, you pay for the damages that you got from it. You go to sell the car. If you do any damages to it, it will hurt your money that you bring back. So avoid doing vehicle cargo because as you can see there, the snow affects the roads. I mean, you're going to have a hard time braking. You're going to have a hard time turning. And as you know, if you know, um, like if you drive around a lot of high-end cars or something the more expensive cars in the game the handling on them normally suck i mean the braking's not that good the handling's not that good as you can see here i spun out easily so you know the snow is not like that snow is only going to make it worse so you have a car that's not that good at handling with bad braking and a car that's going on snow so yeah i mean it's just a recipe for disaster um, you're going to hurt your money intake and honestly when you're bringing it back in the snow it could honestly make you pay more and the whole point of vehicle cargo is to bring it back with as little damage so you can maximize your profit so just with the snow being in the game right now doing vehicle cargo is not an ideal way to make money in the game so honestly here at the channel we decided that is probably the number one thing that you should want to steer away from um, while the snow is in the game the snow will not be in the game for that long because it is more noticeable number two you have flying and Flying specifically at night, um, it is a little bit better in the daytime, but I mean, it's still noticeable. As you can see here, whether you're doing a hangar sale, you're flying for fun, I mean, any of that stuff, you're doing a crate sale and you're flying, it's just not a good idea. I mean, look, I mean, the plane, it's shaking, so you got that. The, the snow just affects it in so many ways. You have a harder time seeing, especially if it's like if you're doing a seaplane sail for an MC over the water, it's really foggy. So honestly, just avoid flying. I mean, if you have to fly or you want to fly for fun, go ahead and do that. But it, I just don't think it's a smart idea to risk flying to make money. I mean, there's other ways to make money in the game. The hangar is triple now, but I mean, still would not worry about that. Um, when it comes to CEO crates, I guess it's not as bad because you do have the chance of getting the boat or getting the car, but overall, I would just try to stay away from flying. Number three, you're going to have MC sales. And the reason I'm saying MC sales is because as you can see there, we got the bike. The bike is probably honestly the least one that I would be worried about using. The bikes are normally pretty good in the snow, but you can't guarantee you're going to get a bike. You get the horrible post op van you could get the horrible braking garbage truck you, and you could get a helicopter or the seaplanes so mc sales it's all random you don't have a choice at what you get for se selling and more times than not the odds are going to be stacked against you under what you get so it's just honestly a smarter idea to not worry about mc sales i mean they're not double so it's you're going to be doing this for normal price you're going to be risking your sales for normal price now, if you need the money to buy something or you need it to play the game, obviously, by all means, sell. But, I mean, if you really don't need the money, I would not risk the money um, from the sale. It's just not worth it. I mean, it just you put yourself through so much unnecessary stress. I mean, as you can see there, the bikes do even struggle a little bit on the turns with that. So those are the three main things that you're going to want to avoid. Now, if you're looking for other things you could do to make money, you have the Acid Lab at two times cash money. As you can see there up on the screen from that screenshot, that is something you can make a quite big amount of money from. I mean, it's not that, it's not bad. I mean, 
you're gonna have to do it multiple times to see a real profit but also on top of that you also have beast versus slasher at two three times cash and all races are also two times cash so you got that for other options if you need to make money like i was saying if you need to do any of these things to make money by all means do it but do it with caution i mean there are other ways to make money in the game so keep that in mind when you're using um stuff in the snow um, if you enjoyed, please remember to like and sub for more Madden, GTA, and Red Dead content. Also, check the description. The um, Red Dead Things to Avoid will be in the description, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.